All right, so welcome to Lombardi Preview. Now, we're just gonna go through some riders, show some footage, and why I think everyone's gonna do well. So first of all, the defending champion, Tadej Pogacar, why is he gonna win? I think he's got a good chance of winning because the course isn't crazy hard. They go up like Chibidio, which is like 4K at 10%, and then you do the second climb, which is like San Bertano de Fermano, which is like 2K at 7%. It's not very hard. They do that twice. They do it with the Mur de Sordomano, which is like super, super hilly. Um, so I think in that sense, pagach has got a good chance of getting to the finish. His sprint is unreal. So I think he's obviously a, a big favorite. He's had good form uh, in the recent races, one trade Valle Veracina, uh, and he also came second in uh, Giro della Media. So I think he's definitely a favorite. As you desire, I think a good chance um, for someone. Well, so for AG2R, they're not, uh, Cosmo is not going. Sean Buzan, Parry Pont are fine. Jay Vine's going. I don't think it suits him. It's not hilly enough. I don't think he can get away on his own. And he's not going to win a bunch of sprint. Nibali, again, he needs nuclear performances from Miguel Angel Lopez to make it so hard that he can get away on the descent. The descent um, into Como from the final climb is not very technical. Um, I've actually done it, to be fair, and it's really not very technical. Even on, like, close, or even on one road, like, obviously, closed roads, it's, like, really not technical at all. Baron Victorious, no one really who's there. Like, Landon made a Mohoric. Mohoric is an outside shot because I reckon he might be able to get around um Bardiani GSF again no one really Bora I think Vlasov Higita Higita could be interesting coming second in Trebala Veracina I think he's a good good outsider um Guillermo Martin for Kofidis again uh Fatsion for Drone Hopper I think could go really well I think it's a race that suits him more and more because it's not as hard as previous ones he's obviously got a really good sprint so I think he's be a, a big shout um and then we'll sort of go around I think for for FDJ, they've lost David Godou, which is a really big loss for them. You know, they've got a couple other strong riders like Valentin Madwas and Rudy Mollard, but, you know, it's it's not the same as as the big man David Godou, who I think in One Day Classics is really underrated and is actually better at that almost than Grand Tours. Ineos have a super strong squad. Adam Yates is our leader. He should get to the finish. I also wouldn't put it past Jonathan Narvaez to get round. He's got a really good sprint. So, again, watch out for them too. Um, uh, Yates finished top five, I think, in, in uh, Trey Valle Varicina. Um, didn't look great in, uh, him and Martinez both didn't look great in Amelia. However, Martinez did win in Coppa Agostoni. No, no, it's Coppa Sabatini, sorry, getting confused. Uh, then you sort of go around your Israel with, like, Fugasang and people like that. Vingegaard, how much do I think he's going to go well? It's really hard to tell. Croatia race, yeah, okay, he won he almost won it, but, like, it was against, like, who did he have? He beat Brandon and Rivera, fair enough, beat Oscar Only, that was about it. So I wouldn't really say it's the best performance from him. I'm not sure the score suits him the best, so I think it could be a tough, tough get round for him. Not get round, but tough win. Uh, and then Bala. Now, this is the man I really want to focus on, because I think Alejandro Valverde has a very good chance of winning, because he's got Enric Mas. Now, Enric Mas, in my opinion, is the best climber at this moment in time. He showed it on the San Luca climb. He was absolutely dominant, dropped everyone easily to be honest and people said it wasn't but like honestly he could have gone a lot harder if he needed to so i think with mass being able to follow everyone on the climbs um it was and then he'll just be like i've got bala behind me i think there's good chance it comes back together and with alejandro valverde as long as he doesn't go too early i think he can be poggy especially longer races you know it probably does suit bala more but i think at the moment the issue for valverde is that he keeps leading it out too early he did it in agostoni he did it in trade Valle Varicina. so i think if he doesn't lead out too early which hopefully he won't he's got a really really good chance quick step how julian alphalete who i think uh it could suit it just depends how well he's climbing at the moment i'm not 100 sure wow wow for archaea will be all right again bike exchange have lost yates so i'm not too confident in their any of their riders really um kevin colioni and matteo sobrero are good but you know they're not they're not top tier favorites team dsm have uh roman Bardet, who i think will be probably be there or thereabouts he's got a decent sprint you know beat everyone except valverde in uh the world champs in 2018 but again poggy's probably quicker and total energy my boy pielator the king the man who reminds me of myself with his uh horrendous bike riding style he really is a legend and uh i think he can go well and then trek second afraid to have balko Molomer, who again this could sue him he could go long and people will underestimate and that's how he won last time went on the chavilio climb and everyone just looked at each other and i think the same thing could happen this year potentially but anyway those are my favorites uh let me know how you think it's going to play out i think it will be hard on the chavilio but i think it will probably come down to a small bunch sprint unless someone can get away solo what i don't think it will be is sort of a max 
like climbing performance on the final climb, the San Batillo de Fremont. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. I actually can't remember. Um, but anyway, I don't think it will do because it's just not that hard. Um, having ridden it again, I really don't think it is. Yeah, San Bernardino de la Batalla is the final climb. 2.8k, 6.7%. Um, and yeah, it's just not the hard. The Chivilio is the hardest climb by far. By far. So, and the ascent's super technical, so you could sort of cause some carnage down there. But anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoyed this quick video. I'll see you in the next one.